Here I have a rive file with two states. In timeline 1, the button is scaled to 100%. In timeline 2, the button is scaled to 110%. In the state machine, I've set transitions between the two states, and both of these transitions have a duration of 500 milliseconds. The state machine condition to go in this direction is that the boolean has to be true. The condition to go in this direction is that the boolean has to be false. So when I press play in my state machine, I can set the boolean to true, and back to false, and back to true, and this activates the two transitions. However, I don't want to have to click this boolean checkbox to activate a transition in the state machine. I want to have an actual mouse interaction, and we can do this with listeners. Over here we have the listeners panel. To create a new listener, just click plus, and here we have our listener. Over here we can set the listener's target. This is the layer in your hierarchy that you want to listen to. I'm going to select the button. And down here we have a few options for the mouse interaction that we're listening for. Pointer enter means that our mouse is entering the vicinity of the button. Pointer exit means that the mouse is exiting the vicinity of the button. Pointer down means that we click our mouse down on the button. Pointer up means that we release our mouse click on the button. Pointer move means that our mouse is moving within the vicinity of the button. And click means that the pointer has been clicked down and up on the same target layer. In this case, that's the button. For this example, I'm just going to use pointer enter. And down here we can set it so that if the listener hears our mouse entering the button's vicinity, then we set the boolean to true. So when I press play, the boolean's default value is false, but if I hover my mouse over the button, that gets set to true. And when it gets set to true, the condition is met, so we transition to timeline 2. Let's make another listener to go in the opposite direction. Call this listener enter, and I'll create another listener and call it exit. Then I'll set the target again to the button. I'll set the pointer interaction to pointer exit. And then in the listener's settings, I'll set it so that the boolean gets set to false. So the two listeners are now listening for whether or not our pointer enters and exits the vicinity of the button. And if they hear what they're listening for, the listeners will set the boolean to either true or false. And of course, this boolean controls the conditions in the state machine. So now if I hover over the button, we transition to timeline 2. And if I unhover, we transition back to timeline 1. 